So the question came up about radial symmetry on uh, you know, an odd part. So maybe if I have something, you know, like this, and I want to, um, sorry, you know, clear that. Uh, you know, I want to start using this part out here. See how I'm, my, my symmetry here is just not going to align, even if I change the axis uh, of it, say from Y to X or Z. You know, just not going to to get there because this thing sticks out at an odd angle. So. There's a couple ways uh, to work with it. First of all, I wanna, I'll, just, I'll show you how I made this part, and then uh, I'll show you how to switch the symmetry so that it works around those kinds of uh, pieces. So let's get out of edit mode, and clear my screen. I'm going to start with a, a sphere, so a, a sphere 3D. Let's draw it out. Let's turn on um, edit mode. Let's turn on our floor. Yep, floor is on. And let's get um, regular symmetry, so internal symmetry at NX. Let's get it rotated around so you can see it. Mm. Yeah, I had it turned off. Okay, so good. Yeah, we're, we're looking at it there, I think. I think yeah, okay. Looking good. So I'm going to work with a Dynamesh uh, on this. So I'm going to come over to uh, here. Let's make this Polymesh 3D. Now I'm going to Dynamesh. I'm going to leave it at 128. That's fine. Turn off Project. Turn on Polish. And let's Dynamesh it. And now I want to make this a hemisphere. So I'm going to uh, get my Move tool. Make sure uh, symmetry is off. Just draw a, a vertical line. And then grab here in the middle and click it, and it says it's clipped down. We'll clip it just a little bit um, before it, before halfway, and now redynamesh, and then rotate around. We'll click here in the middle to get my move tool, move tool. Uh, let's see, roughly centered. Yeah, that looks fine, and then. Uh, I'm going to move this up, but I'm going to make a clone of it. So if I hold down Control and click and drag, it's going to make a clone. If I hold down Shift, it'll constrain it. But if I Dynamesh this, it's going to join them. So I'll have these kind of two nested bodies. So I don't want that. I want to hold down Alt when I move this so that I've got a, 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 a negative for it. So Control, Alt, click, hold, drag, moving it up. Hold down the Shift to constrain it. Just get it slightly above the uh, other one there. And then let's we'll switch to our Scale tool. And I'm just going to scale it down just a little bit until it's kind of nesting inside there. Look at it from top. Make sure it looks okay. Yeah, all looks good. Switch back to move. I want to move it down just a bit. And looks good. So let's clear the mask. Dynamesh. Got a bowl. Probably other ways to make that, but uh, I wanted to show you that, that method of uh, using uh, a negative Dynamesh. All right, so let's stick a, an appendage uh, out on this thing. So. Uh, to do that, I'm going to tap B, I to go to Insert Brushes, look for the Insert Cylinder, and I'm just going to draw one out uh, here so that it's kind of sticking out of, of the mesh a little bit. And then hit my W key to get my Move tool. And while that's still oriented along that thing, I just want to move it out a bit so that it's not sticking in into it. So maybe I want this appendage moving up. So grab the middle, hold down Shift, let it constrain out, let's rotate around until we can again hold in Shift until it just clears the inside and it's not, don't have any edges out there on the outside. So clear the mask, redynamesh, and now I've got this piece sticking out of there. Now, but you, you notice that if I turn on uh, radial symmetry, so activate symmetry, let's see what we've got here. Um, Oh, sorry, I forgot to turn on, hit the R for radial. Yeah, it's no matter what axis I get that thing in, uh, it's never going to get where I want it. Even if I turn on local symmetry, still not going to get there. Uh, so what I need to do is orient. First of all, I need to set the pivot point around this end piece, and then I need to uh, uh, orient it so that it's facing one of the X, Y, or Z axes. So to do that, uh, let's turn symmetry off. I'm going to switch back to my move tool and I want to click on the face of this thing out here. All right, that's fine. Get it you know, kind of roughly pointed out 
uh, along that. And let's do some uh, movement with it. So from the top uh, up here, let's I'll switch that to a rotate tool. Start dragging it, hold down shift, see if it'll snap around. Okay, yep, looking good, facing along the grid here. And now let's come around to this side, this side. And let's start rotating, and then shift. Oops, sorry, getting out of place there. Let's draw this out along it. Yeah, looking good. We can get zoomed in. Make sure it's nice and parallel to it. Looks pretty good there. And now we'll start rotating up here again, holding shift till it constrains. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's rotate around like this. That looks good. Yeah, so, you know, this thing is facing one of, of the axes, and that's great. But, again, even with local symmetry turned on, uh, if we turn on that, yeah, it's roughly around that. Actually, that's looking pretty good. That would probably work. But if we get around here, you notice, yep, yeah, not quite there. So what we need to do is isolate this end cap uh, out here. So to do that, let's turn on polyframe. And then I'm going to hold down uh, Control and Shift and click on here. And get. I'm just going to get my slice curve. I'm just going to slice it along here so that I just have the uh, uh, just that cap isolated or in its own polygroup. So let's turn off symmetry. Control, Shift, drag down. Let's reposition the line here so that it's right there on the end. And if I get a little extra, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, and so now with that, uh, this turned into a separate polygroup. I'm going to go hold down Control Shift, click on it to uh, just to hide everything else. And then uh, under Transform, let's go to Set Pivot. Set Pivot. And what that does is it sets the pivot uh, to this thing. Let's turn off the symmetry here. Yeah, so now my pivot, uh, you can see it in there if you, if you look for the axes centered around that. Control shift again, click outside here to unhide everything else. And now, uh, if I tap X, I should have yep, symmetry working as, as expected. Let's tap F. So now if I wanted to, I could come in here. Oh, let's turn the count up just a little bit. Uh, so my radial count's at 8. Let's make it uh, 24. And now I can hold down shift, say smooth a little bit, redynamesh, smooth a little more, redynamesh, yeah, looking good. Maybe I want a little rounding on this top, redynamesh. Or maybe I don't, maybe I want a little, um, let's get a, uh, you know, trim dynamic out there, bevel it a little bit. Yep, looking pretty good. A little too much smoothing. I think that's going. On. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Uh, so that's great. Everything's looking good. I want to get. If I want to get it back, I'll just kind of. I'll just reverse uh, all of my moving. So let's turn off symmetry. Uh, and you need to make sure that local symmetry is off uh, when you're doing this, because if you turn it back on, see it's going to, uh, or it might um, come back and start using. Rotate it around. Yeah. See how it's now. It's using the object. Uh, again, so you want local symmetry off, so that way it holds to uh, where you've made that that, um, that new face, uh, or the new polygroup on that face. Yeah, so uh, again, what I would do here now to get everything kind of back to normal is I'll just rot get my move tool, or rotate tool, rotate everything roughly back into place, uh, and then um, you keep working on it. And uh, so you can see that you know, even if I had something, let's turn off symmetry for just a second, even if I needed to, say, work on something over here, I want to work on this without having any kind of new piece stuck to it. So it's just, you know, I'm just going to mask off a little bit out there. Let's make sure it's poking through. Okay, yeah, good. And then set F, uh, and then I'll do Control W to make that its own little polygroup. I'm going to uh, just get oriented to it, so I'll get my move tool, pick it so that it's kind of sticking out uh, from it, from it like so. Rotate around to one of these views. 
switch to the rotate tool, let's rotate, we've done shift, let's rotate around with this one, rotate that view, we've done shift, actually I, mean, I need to hold down shift on that one, just want to get this thing so that it's facing along one of those, uh, Yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's that's pretty close. If not, let's uh, see. It looks like it needs to rotate up just a little bit. So from there, let's rotate to rotate just a tad. Draw a new line in here. Yep, pretty close. Probably close enough that it, that it will, will work. So again, uh, let's turn off uh, or let's switch back to draw. Control Shift click to isolate that. Transform. Set pivot. Let's take a look at it. Make sure it's yep, roughly along one of the uh, X E. Looks like it's along the Z here. So Control Shift out here, bring everything back. Let's bring. Uh, let's get symmetry, and it looks like we need to change it to uh, our Z. Turn off X. Yeah, looking good. So, and oriented roughly around that thing. Turn off F. Maybe hold down Alt. Let's go up in a little bit. And switch to another brush. There we go. Push into it a little bit. Something like that. Other ways to do that, but I just wanted you to see how to uh, control that, where your where your symmetry, your radial symmetry uh, is occurring.